thy great faithfulness, mercy, and love. To thy great Is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I am given, I am provided. Great is thy faithfulness. cannot see beyond the future. He knows and he's still on the throne. So faith is the victory. Amped along the hills of likely Christian soldiers ride. 608. 608. Encamped along the hills of the Christian soldiers rise. And the rest of battle is shall veil the glory in the eyes against the foe in veils below. Against the foe in veils below. Let all our strength be heard. Let all our strength be heard. Faith is the victory. Faith is the victory. We let know. overcome the world. Let overcome the world. Faith. Faith is the victory.
in Jesus' conquering name. Faith is a victory. Faith is a victory. Faith is the victory. Oh, glorious victory that overcomes the world. Let's at this moment say a word of prayer. Just asking you to reverently bow your head with me as we petition the Father. Lord, we are here at this moment. And even though our eyes witness the scene, it is tough to take them. But we honor our friend, our brother, father. We honor our, your servant. We honor his life. And Lord, we know that life itself is in your hands. And so we pray that you would comfort the family. Amen. Bring peace, Lord, to those immediate family members who may, at this time, not be able to ingest what is happening. But Lord, your love and your power is beyond comprehension. And so, Father, we ask that you would come now, that we may comprehend the wonderful awesomeness of the plan of salvation and grace that is afforded to each and every one that is here. And in order to be kingdoms of the new, the new nation above, our hearts must be captivated by your spirit. We pray, Lord, everyone here within the sound of my voice may be ready in the name of the Father and of the Son. of September and it goes into history we have started a new month Roy sleeps awaiting a new life somebody mentioned yesterday that the scripture tells us that he hears nothing he understands nothing. He sees nothing. He feels nothing. He doesn't even know that he's dead. He sleeps. The next thing he shall hear. The next thing he shall know. The next voice that he will hear in his air is his Savior and Lord. When Roy shall be conscious again, Amen. it shall be when the Lord himself shall descend. Yes. And the first voice he will hear in that newness shall be his Lord. He will hear words like, well done, 
good and faithful servants. You have been faithful in a few things. You have been faithful in your family. You have been a faithful husband, a faithful father, a faithful son, a faithful brother. You have been a faithful friend. You have been a faithful servant. You have been a faithful praise and worship leader. You have been a faithful elder. Come now. And I will give you all that your heart desire. Woo! Roy will have a new heart. Roy will have a new body. Roy will have a new mind. Roy will rise Amen. new, but more so, he will have a new name, Amen. a new name. Kimmy, Jalen, Kiki, Winston, Cynthia, Mom, the rest of the family, this is not the end. And those who are gathered here this is not the end this is not his final resting place he just sleeps now at this plot of land but he shall live again you who are living we who are here must make or calling an election sure. We must be prepared to hear, as Roy will hear, well done, good and faithful servant. We must be prepared to have a new name that is written down in glory. Until that day, it is our admonition as ministers that we keep faithful. Until that day, keep faithful, keep to God, who is our creator, he is our sustainer, and he is our redeemer. Amen. Keep to God, though our minds may be blown, though we don't comprehend how and why, though we have questions that no minister can answer, though we have questions that no one can Tell us, keep close to God because He has all the answers. Amen. He knows the best thing. The question may come, how could this be the best thing? He is the all-knowing God to me. He is the God that you and Roy have prayed, held hands and prayed to. He is the God who has kept you. Mommy is a God that gave him to you for 48 years. He's a God that will keep you going forward. So today, as we come to lay who I know as my member, my elder, my diplomat, my friend, we come to lay him to rest at this place. Let us not remain here in our minds, but look forward to that glorious day when Christ shall come. As we prepare to lower the casket this morning, I want to read for us. book of Revelation. Revelation, the 21st chapter. Revelation 21, where John was shown beyond a cemetery. John was shown beyond tears and fears. John was shown beyond our mortal beings, preacher. John was shown beyond what the natural eyes can see. 
This he was told to write. Would you lower the casket as we read what John saw? John said, I, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. There was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne of God saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among his people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself shall be their God. He, he will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. For the former and the old order of things has been passed away. He who sat upon the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, write this. For these words, these words. These words, these words are trustworthy and true. As ministers of the gospel, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed of the Lord, we now commit to the ground our friend, our brother, our husband, our father. Our loved one, Roy Gordon Jr. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. Shall we pray? <clears throat> our God and our Father. thank you we thank you for 48 years of life a life lived a life that have touched and transformed and renewed hope a life who has given unto each of us laughter assurance and inspiration we thank you for giving us Roy Gordon jr. and now holy God I pray that you will mark this hollowed spot that this spot will become a place that is marked with your blood so that on that special day when the eastern skies shall be open and heaven shall break open and the trump of God shall sound that this spot will open wide and Roy Gordon Jr. will come forth with power, with energy and with passion singing a song, a new song that you shall give to him. May you bless this spot. May you bless each of us now, God, and we mourn. May we not mourn as people without hope, but people who believe in you and put our trust in you to know that we too will hear your voice. And together with Roy, with all those we have lost before yeah. shall come together yeah. on the sea of glass we shall lift our hands in praise we shall give you the honor we shall give you the glory for death will be no more death at that time shall die so now god be with the gardens family Give them strength. Comfort their hearts. 
Send angels, now God, to encamp around them. Yes. And may your power bear them up yes. on angels' wings. Yes. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Thank you for your power. Yes. Thank you for giving us a man who has touched our lives. But more so, thank you for Jesus. Yes. Because it's through Jesus that we have hope. It is through Jesus that we have power. It is through Jesus that we can stand and know that the resurrection is sure. So thank you. Bless us now, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Rejoice in the knowledge that we shall see our friend, our brother, guide servant once more. Would you? You sing with me that song. I would be like Jesus. Earthly pleasures vainly call me. I would be like Jesus. I think Roy lives such an example, such a life that we can actually follow in his footsteps and determine that we will live for God. So that every one of us can be ready when Jesus comes. That's the thing right now we should concentrate on. 311. Earthly pleasures vainly call me. I would be like Jesus. Nothing worldly shall enthrall me. Nothing. I would be like Jesus. Be like Jesus, this my song, in the home, in the throne, be like Jesus all day long. I will be like Jesus. He has broken every fetter. I will be like Jesus. That my soul may serve him better. I would be like Jesus. Be like Jesus, this my song. In the home and in the throne. Be like Jesus all day long. I would be like Jesus. Let's sing that last stanza. That in heaven he may meet me. I would be like Jesus. That his words well done may greet me. I would be like Jesus. Be like Jesus, this my song. In the home and in the throne. Like Jesus all day long. May God keep and bless you during this time of grief, remembering that the Bible does say we do not grieve like others, even though we do grieve, it's not like others. Unlike the pagan, we believe that death is not the end, but there will be a resurrection in the name of Jesus. May God bless you and keep you. We invite you to bow your heads at this moment. The bird is going to 
give us the benefit. I was just informed that uh, at the house there is lunch that is prepared so you can join the family at the house um, in New Rochelle for lunch. God bless you and again, thank you. Family and friends, we're going to um, cover the grave now and we would need to move back near the cars. Thank you. 